After three days of total uncontrolled chaos, the snow starts to melt and normalcy comes back to the lodge. Jeff hands over a smoker duck hunt to me and my guys get it done in very short order. Daryl hits a deer and totals a spawning vehicle, which causes its own kind of drama. I come up with a plan to keep Daryl in the game while the rest of the crew scrambles to put one more hunt together. Can we pull this off and maintain our sanity? Oh boy. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. That a boy, Melvin. You caught some. And then Jay whacked him. We uh, did the white coveralls again, white suits and uh, chairs in the snow. And uh, we got all our darks and a handful of snow. Snow was fun. It was a real pretty, pretty, pretty hunt. Big flights doing it right up the gut. Yeah, it was good. You guys were happy. 114 bird morning. Jay got 53 geese, we got 24 geese and 40 ducks. Perfect day. All right, so we just came off, you know, three or four days of the absolute worst conditions you could imagine. I mean, driving snow, rolled into wet, white conditions, and then last night we had a clear, calm night with a full moon. You know, we still managed to pick up. Might be Mel shot all his ducks most of his specs, a few snows. Jay shot all of his dark geese and a handful of snow. So, I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better transition into this, this next hunt. You know, put smiles on these hunters' faces or just, we're happy, they're happy, and we're, we're ready to get back to some normalcy and some dry conditions and some, you know, get back into some normal activity here. I'm probably gonna do a duck hunt this afternoon. You know, it'll be business as usual. Tonight, the guys will go out. We'll try to put two big combos together if we can. And, and if we can, treat them to a real nice pothole shoot on Saturday morning and wrap it up, you know, we'll see what happens. But hunters are happy and that's all that matters, you know? It's good. Okay, so once we get up around this hill, we're, the approach is there, we're gonna go in, we're gonna bump them right away, so. Perfect, let's yeah. do it. Okay. So Jeff, uh, Jeff dropped me off, uh, put me in on one of his hunts, and just throughout the day, things changed. Uh, and I think I'm gonna hunt the field instead, rather than the puddle, which was the original plan. Good thing I've got everything with me, so we'll be good, we'll be good. Okay, get the layout blinds out first. <coughs> We're gonna set up right here. Look at this, guys. Right, right behind me. These birds are on approach. They want to feed, they want to feed, and they want to feed right here. Perfect, we gotta do this. All right, guys, let's do this. Instant field rig. <laughs> Out front, guys. Five low ducks, six low ducks. Get them in here and roll them. Behind them, guys, just hold tight. They're gonna finish. <laughs> hold. Roll them, roll them, roll them. 
four. Nice shooting, boys. Hope you picked out the mallards. So we're two days after the storm. Everything's starting to dry out. The birds are starting now to feed twice a day again. So stuff's getting back to normal. So, yo. Yeah, Mel, I just, uh, I just hit a deer here, just uh, east of the town. Um, got no chance, it ran right out of the trees in front of me. Um, this car is not doing well. All right, well, I can't get to you right now. I can pick you up later, but I, 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 we got to get try and get these hunts together. I, I got two hunts, but I can't. The landowner isn't home. Uh, the other one I called on, it's been taken. We're kind of in a mess. Yeah. You're in a mess, too. You're having bad luck, buddy. You're having bad luck. Oh, big flight coming, guys. Big plate, left side. <laughs> Wait for him to slow down. Roll him, roll him, roll him. This Drake Mallard. Roll those two guys. Ouch! Clinic here today. Maybe we can seal the deal right now. Dear Mallards, too, let's get him in close. Kill the Mallards, boys. Kill the Mallards. Nice. Nice. Good discipline, guys. Drill him. Drill him. Drill him. Drill him. That's a wrap, gentlemen. Pulled up here today and all the birds were feeding. We're gonna have a puddle hunt. And then fortunately, you know, I'll tell you what, fortunately I had those trailers and uh, I mean, they did it. Every bird, like right over the robo ducks, just doing the dance. I can't thank Jeff enough for handing this one off. You know, it was good, real good. Got it done. Hey, how's it going? Ah, uh, good. Okay, so here's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna send uh, Danny, our Awesomely awesome camera guy, and he's gonna go. He's gonna go pick up Daryl, and I. Perfect. I have ducks hitting the puddle. They can put this to bed. I'll race home. I'll hop in the welding truck, and I'll have 15 minutes to spot. Okay, sounds good. I got. I got to get. I got to get rolling, man. But. Bye. Bye. Go. Bye. Okay, so this is the scramble. Danny, you are actually gonna go get Daryl, and you're gonna come back, button this one up. And I'm gonna take the hunters back, hop in the welding truck, and go spotting. So we got everybody will be back on the road. Let's roll! <laughs> Four or five of them came right out of this patch of trees. Really had nowhere to go. Either go hit that pole, hit the trees, or hit a deer. And that's what happened. Jumped right into the rod, took the rod out, and can't really drive anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, let's race out. We gotta watch that hunt. Okay, we got two pockets of birds here. There's one pothole on the west corner that's just loaded with birds, and you can hear them. You can't really see them on the water right now, but. Uh, they will soon when they jump out of there, but uh, there's a group that's hidden the field and they're not coming out of the puddle and going to the field. There's actually, they're coming out of the roost and going to the field and they're coming out of the roost and going to the pothole. Really, it's a choice, what, uh, what everyone looks like the best. We'll see when that field, or that pothole explodes here before dark and see how many come out of there. And then look at the temperatures and everything too, see what, uh, if it's gonna be cold, you know they're probably gonna want the food before hitting the water. Take a look at all those factors and figure out which one's the best option for the morning. Have you still good? Yeah, I mean, there's uh, one pod in the field. 
kind of near where you were, and then there's a pot, a bunch in that pothole to the west there. Uh, I bet you they all end up right where I was. I got one up. You're in, buddy. Okay. Okay, bye. 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 Well, it looks like we're shooting ducks in the morning. There you go, guys. Breakfast of champions. Ready for your last hunt at Gongaro's for the season? Any good guy? <laughs> That's probably the last hunt for, for me for the season. Brad will show up tomorrow and I'll be heading out to the east to uh, <laughs> do some more hunting. But uh, yeah, these guys won't have any trouble without me here, that's for sure. Probably uh, do a little better on the vehicles too. We, we don't look real pretty right now, but we're prepared. <laughs> Good now. Cover up, guys. Don't shoot any birds on the ground today. Peel A bunch came off the pond right out front. Peel them! I don't know, I don't think you need to get in front of them when they're doing that. Kill them! Good boy, here. 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 Draw. Five. That's it, we're at 38. Yeah, let's get two green heads, guys. Two green heads low, right here. Kill those two. That's 40. It was great, you know, uh, they were in nice and tight, a little, a little too tight. Uh, pattern's not even opening up, they're in so close, but uh, hey, that's, that's how we like to shoot them out here. Nice and close, right in the hole. Uh, pretty fun shooting. Different experience for a lot of guys down from the south that are used to 50, 60 yard shots, passing birds, everything like that. But uh, come up to Canada if you want to see birds like that, right in your face, landing on your blind, missing them at five feet. It's lots of fun. Yeah, I just got the word from Claudio. We're going to roll out of here quick. Um, we, it's not even eight o'clock yet. We're done our 40 ducks and uh, they're still rolling us hard. We'll pack up the spread really fast. Clean up the shells, get out of here, get back to camp. I'll hit the road and start scouting, and uh, we'll line up some more stuff here. Oh, yeah, look at the ducks pouring into there. Ooh. This is a bit of a godsend for us. <clears throat> this is rocking. I'm just going to figure it out here. There's a puddle. I'm going to see if they're puddling or if they're feeding, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be puddling in there. They're on there feeding. Wow. It's good. Okay. Oh. 
All right, so I'm gonna hand this uh, this hunt off to Daryl. Interesting situation we have going on here. Daryl uh, actually has an outfit in Saskatchewan as well, so he has to head home. Uh, well, he has to be there for sure either tomorrow night or Sunday. So he'll roll in, I'll hand it off. We'll hunt him tonight, even though he hunted this morning. And then uh, he'll be able to pack his gear up and head out bright and early tomorrow morning, get, get, get over to do what he's got to do. So as soon as he gets here, I'll do the handoff and then I'll go check on the ducks that I might be hunting tomorrow. And the process continues. Life's good. Life's good again. <laughs> so here's what's going on here. So that's where I kind of pinned it this morning. Okay. And then they were in two pods and they fed together and they got up and they all finished here. So obviously this is where the feed is. Yeah. The ducks, you can see they're coming into there. Now, see that little far green patch just yep. in the distance there? That, that's the puddle. It's straight okay. east of those bales. So if you drive up the road along, yeah, where that snow hits, but there's another puddle further back, and there's a big one way in the back that some ducks are coming out of. So, you know, just watch it. I hope the Should geese leave. Yeah, oh, that would be the, the spot. You might have to, you know, depending on what the ducks want to do, but I have a feeling with that front coming, they're going to want to feed. And I would get in here early this yeah. afternoon, yeah. That looks a little nasty back there. Yeah, it does. It does. Black sky. All right, well, I'm going to I'm gonna let you watch this, right. and then I'm going to bolt. And, hey, man, good okay. job this morning. See you. Bye. Uh, it's just a big speck of snow show here. Oh, there's probably twelve to 13,000. There's another pot out here in the middle too, but the big show is right here on the edge. These ones are kind of lazy. They got a taste for crop. They don't want to forage through the stubble. But we should be able to scratch a few snows out of it tonight. Oh boy, they all get up at once. Well, guess now we'll go put a pin in the ground and Look around to see where we're gonna hunt and be ready to go. <laughs> There's a lot of turd. These geese aren't constipated, that's for sure. Well, I think we're gonna drop a pin. I think this would be the best. Ground a little spooky. My lucky pitchfork. Hey Claudio. Hey man, how's it going? Um, uh, got a bit of a situation going on here, I guess. Uh, uh -oh. an another field of birds uh, came in and they tried to day roost on the pond here. A few of them went to the day roost and half of them uh, joined up with these birds in the field and they're they're sitting tight. They're not. Uh, they're looking pretty comfortable and there's some birds filtering off the day roost coming into feed still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we just, they just need a little bit of time. It's calm now. I bet you within the next 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes, they'll, they'll settle in. I'm sure they will. And once they're on that, once they're on that day roost, we we'll give them a nudge. All right, we'll sit them out here and uh, let you know what happens. Thanks, Daryl. All right. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, well, always things get a little bit <clears throat> complicated. The hunt grew a little bit, which is nice. But now they're kind of sitting there. There's a little bit of inclement weather, so they don't want to leave. The ducks have fed and gone back to the day roost. The geese now are trading back and forth between some water in the field and the field. So unless we can, you know, unless they go on their own and we can get underneath them, it complicates things. We're banking on that as an option for Mel's guys. So Jay and I are going to go have a quick look to, to back up uh, Mel's guys that Daryl was supposed to take. And then uh, Jeff's going to load his gear up and take the guys who uh, shot their ducks with Daryl this morning on a spec hunt, and I'm sure he'll wrap that up. Yeah. Uh, well, we're just setting up just a general U-shaped pattern here. Uh, we got a bunch of silos. Putting out a bunch of DNA singles tonight. Nice and light, easy to pack. It's ladies' night tonight? <laughs> no, DNA singles. So we'll put a whole bunch of them, yeah. Filling this all up. Turn around the blinds. 
we're going to try and shoot them a limit of specs. Hopefully the odd couple of Canada's will show up and a few snows and see if we can't cap off the night for these guys. Let's see how we do. All right, guys, get your wits about you. They're coming. <laughs> get ready, guys. Go, 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 go. There he goes. Right, he's down. You guys got to get tucked down lower in them blinds. They're seeing. Get ready, get ready. Yep, go, 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 go. Couple guys, come give me a hand. Quick. Take all these out and move them up against that side. Get ready, get ready. Go, 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 go. Get down, get down. Go, go. Looking doable. Go, 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 go! That was close! <laughs> He's in the blind with me! <laughs> He's still alive! <laughs> well, it wasn't a barn burner. They wouldn't come down. They fed late and they they stayed high, but we chipped away a few. I think we got 15 or something like that. I just about got one in the face. They come right, landed. It. it was coming down. I got my hand up, and I nudged it just enough that it went <laughs> right by my shoulder, and his head was down in the blind. It was still alive, and the wing was slapping me in the face. I'll show you a picture. This is actually the selfie of me with the <laughs> with me. There's two of them. <laughs> That one was a little close for comfort. <laughs> I seen him coming and I'm like, well, no, he's gonna miss, he's gonna miss. No, he's not gonna miss, he's not gonna miss. He didn't miss. <laughs>